for it, wait for it, here we come, five, four, three, two. Interrupt our program to bring you this important message. This just in from Channel 7 News. Nedward Nug here, joined by Ness. Let's uh let's get a word from Ness here because we've been, you know, wanting to talk to Mr. Ness for a long time here at Channel 7, and we're gonna talk to you now. So Mr. Ness, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> I'm from a little shithole town. Uh, trying to get big, meeting a lot of people, meeting a lot of friends, loving it, having fun gaming. Me, as you see, I'm a mask right now. Eventually, I want to, you know, come forward. But for now, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good being me because the way I see it is if you guys like me for me, then you don't need to know what's behind the mask yet. All right, so Mr. Ness, so what is PBGO? Okay, I've actually been asked that quite a lot, and people have looked it up on the web and found some weird stuff. But I'm telling you right now, it's nothing you're going to find on the web because it was kind of created between me and, you know, my pal Big Kirby, which cannot be here right now, unfortunately. Uh, PBGO is an acronym for Powered by Game Over. Now, what this means, would you like to know what this means? Of course. Okay, so what this means is, have you ever had that feeling where that screen pops up when you die? You know, that game over, that wasted, that, that you failed, mission failed, and you felt something boil inside yourself and made you want to try even harder? Well, you're powered by game over. That feeling is that power that makes you want to try for success and go for it. So the big question is, are you powered by game over? Well, aren't we all? <laughs> so, Mr. Ness, why do you wear a mask? Well, I wear a mask because I want people to know me for me, my personality and who I am. I'm not ashamed of what I look like. I'm not ashamed of who I am. But I, that's exactly it. I want you guys to know me for who I am, not what I look like. I will be taking off the mask later on because I do want to communicate more with you guys one-on-one -on -one and so on, vice versa. And I would love to show my friends my face. My, my friends don't even know my face yet. And um, I know I've gone through a few cosmetic things like before I was just a skull. And uh, that's still here somewhere. You guys will see that in the future, okay? But um, yeah, this is the look I wanted for the longest time. I love this. I love what it is, and it screams me. So, love me, know me, for me, then you'll meet me. Cool. Very cool indeed, sir. So, Mr. Ness, what does Ness mean, or where did the name come from? Okay, so I could have gone with various profiles that I had in the past, but we all started out, the Powered by Game Over people all started out playing Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo, well, 64 to start with. But we've gone and played all of them since then. And since the 64, my main character has been Ness. And I liked him so much that I just kind of accepted it because whenever we got together and hung out in the, in the other room and stuff like that and played locally or even online, I was always using Ness. So that's what everybody got to know me as. Ness, goddamn you, Ness, fuck you, Ness, n -n 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 Ness, and uh, so yeah, I'm Ness. Big Kirby is he, he's a he's a big guy, he's a big guy. So he he uses Kirby, and so he's Big Kirby. And you've met Dark Pit as well, and that was his character. He get really got into the Smash Bros. scene around SB4, SSB4, and um, he picked up Dark Pit, and so that's what we started calling him there. So we started out as a Super Smash Brothers crew and kind of developed our names and personas from there. Very awesome. So are you the leader of PBGO? There's really no leader. I mean, I do tend to take charge on things. And, you know, like I set up the lobbies, I set up the games, I set up the recordings and everything like that. But that's more management than it is a leader. 
I can't really say there's a leader for power by game over because like I said, it's in all of us. Like I said, if you have felt that feeling when you're seeing that screen of failure and wanted to try harder, then you're powered by game over, just like me. No leaders, it's us together. I like that. That sounds pretty awesome. So Mr. Ness, I noticed you have a, a very interesting background there. What a, What's going on back there? It's called a mess. <laughs> you know, Ness, mess, it rhymes, might as well keep it. No. Uh, okay, so I am an otaku. I love anime, games, everything. I am a nerd. Really, I'm a nerd. And um, yeah, I love Vocaloid. I love my anime series. Uh, that over there would be Moon Phase. I have an Akatsuki hat right here. Yeah, right there. And uh, the rest is just boxes from computer parts and posters and some of the stuff that you see thrown about there. Back to you. So you mentioned taking off your mask. What conditions or what are your terms for actually removing your mask, sir? Really, I've been wanting to for a while. But like I said, I would like to get a bigger base following me and subscribe to me. That way, I know people like me for me. And it's just not like personal people or... Uh, you know, people who may disappear in the next few days, or if they don't like the way I look, then they're going to be gone. I guarantee it. I, I really want to hit at least that hundred mark. That way, I can get my custom URL, and it'll be easier to find me. And with a hundred people, you know, subscribe to me, I see it as more of an opening. Because right now, I'm currently at thirty-two. I've been stuck there for a little bit, but with a hundred, I see more shares going around, more people wanting to share my content and be like, okay, come check out this guy. This guy's kind of funny or this guy's stupid because I'm both. But um, I really want to hit that 100 mark. And I kind of planned a face reveal for that. And I would really like that so I can get this thing off. It's kind of like a lock safe. You see, you see it's unlocked right now. So yeah. Wow, that sounds very reasonable. So what goals do you have for the future? Well, I plan to keep the channel alive, keep it going. Even if it doesn't grow, it's something fun. It's a hobby. I love doing it. I love doing it for me. I love doing it for you guys. And I love doing it for my friends because we can all take from each other, learn, and build upon that process. My plans for the future are is to grow the channel, is to help my friends grow their channels, and to hopefully play with you guys out there even people who aren't even on YouTube, just play with you guys because we have fun. We love raging. And I know you guys do too because you've told us to F off plenty of times. I would love to play with some of my favorite YouTubers at one point. Uh, Delirious is a big inspiration to me, hence the mask and why I don't show my face. Vanos, his editing skills are mwah. And um, just their whole crew is amazing. Jack Septicai, he's... An amazing guy like you can tell just by looking at him and he, you can see inside him that he's genuine same goes with Markiplier he acts out a lot of stuff but that's because it's him uh, there's a big list of people I watch that I love that I try and take in from but I would love to play a game with them or meet them or something but I would love the channel to grow and get to that point to where I'm able to be someone to talk to. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, sir. So here's one random question for you. One final mm. question. If okay. you had to give advice to anybody who's looking at your channel and noticing, hey, this guy's pretty good, what advice would you give them? Well, if they do like me and they want to follow me and you know help me with the whole creation process, give me input in the comments. You know. Um, I do read them when they pop up, which is very rarely right now. Like I said, I am a smaller channel. So I would like them to subscribe to help me grow. I would like them to share amongst their family and friends saying, hey, I really like this guy. He's stupid or he's funny or, you know, he's ridiculous or annoying even because I'm all of those and I know it. But to help this channel grow is to help everyone grow because I don't just play with a set group. I meet people on a constant basis and I try to help people and even playing with people who aren't even YouTubers is fun. That's, that's what it should be is it, it isn't, it shouldn't be a closed circle. 
it should be opened up for everyone. That's what gaming's about. Very true, sir. Well, Channel 7 here, thanks you for your time. And, uh, well, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Mr. Ness. We'll talk to you later, okay? Peace! Bye-bye. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. If you did enjoy this little skit by Maniacal Matter and myself, please leave a like and a comment down below with more ideas, interesting things you'd like to see in the future. Also, check out Maniacal's channel. Link is in the description. Till next time. Peace!